Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. and I'm Lloyd Macedo. Today the date is uh, 20th September 2016, time right now is 6.25 in the morning. All right. I uh, have to get this uh, question from a young girl. And she says that, Lloyd, my dream and my passion is to be a TV presenter. Uh, I want to be a TV star. I want to star in my own TV show. <laughs> uh, I want to have something online, website, you know, all that stuff. And uh, then she gives out a long description about she's very passionate. She loves it. She, her parents, her friends, everyone said that she had the talent for it. And when they look at her videos, she sent me a video link. She says, what do you think? And all that. Fine. I just want to address this. So her question is, like, what do you think? <laughs> all right. See, my dear, uh, what I need you to understand is you're not the only one who wants to be a TV presenter. There are millions, millions, and I'm not even exaggerating, millions of youngsters who want to come on TV, who like the attention, who like the limelight. This, it's a never-ending process. Almost every single person believes this. And given the fact that uh, parents, relatives, well-wishers, they keep encouraging, oh, you can do it, oh, you have this face, wow, you're amazing. So everyone wants to get into the TV business. And yes, who doesn't like the fame? Who doesn't want to be the next, uh, you know, big star, the Brad Pitt, the Angelina Jolie, the Jennifer Lopez, uh, stars like Madonna, Michael Jackson, everyone wants to. But here's the deal, okay? Here's the deal. The question is, you need to understand that this is a business. It's a business. It's not about passion. It's not about like, oh, deep down, I feel this, that. No, it's all the bullshit. See, when you go to a, a TV producer, when you go to a, 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 a channel, a network, what they're interested in knowing is, if I choose this person, if I choose you, for example, you come to me and say, I want to be a TV presenter or star. I, I as a producer, I'll ask myself, if I take this person, you, how many subscribers will I get? How many views will increase? How many people will switch on their TV and want to watch what you have to say? You know, if you can get people in thousands, in ten thousands, millions, tuning into your channel, wanting to listen to you, wanting to see you, wanting to hear you, wanting to talk to you, wanting to interact with you, you know, then you have a chance to succeed. Because end of the day, remember, the TV station or the producer survives when he goes outside and goes to a company, let's say he goes to Ikea, he goes to Pepsi-Cola, he goes to Coca-Cola, he goes to Tim Hortons, Starbucks, he goes to a missionary company, goes to a car company and says, hi, you know, I'm the producer of this show. This is my star. Let's say Suleika, uh, Angelina, uh, you know, Thomas. He is attracting 100,000 people every single day just to watch him. And I, I can advertise your product on my TV show. 100,000 people will see it. And then the, the company will say, fine, I'm ready to advertise. Can you show me the Google Analytics? Can you show me the numbers? So it all comes down to data. It all comes down to business. It all comes down to money. So the, so the point I'm trying to make here is you can be very talented. You can be good looking. You can be funny. You can be an exercise teacher. You can be a coach. You can be whatever you want. If you do not have people following you, if you do not have a crowd coming behind you, you cannot succeed. You just cannot succeed. You might have all the skills, the personality, the ability to speak, the beauty, everything else. But if you do not have a fan base of people wanting to follow you, to uh, you know, interact with you, engage with you, you can't. Do you know that the world's greatest, the world's greatest um, peak performance coach, Tony Robbins, he failed in the TV business. This is not when he was young. Now, now, just, just check it out. He started on this NBC show on peak performance. His ratings dropped and they scrapped the show. So your challenge is not only to get your foot in. It is not only to get the show running. It is to maintain it. It is to keep increasing the views, keep increasing the hits, keep increasing uh, the people who want to tune in. And if you can do that, if you can do that, well, you have succeeded. And you need to do this every single day, every single episode, every single time.
However, if you can't do it, you can't gather in the numbers, then you can't succeed and you can't survive. What, <clears throat> one of the easy ways of how you can find out if you're meant for this, check on your Facebook, how many people are following you. Check on your Twitter, check on your Instagram, check on your uh, uh, YouTube channel. How many people are following you? How many people are sending questions? How many people are wanting to know about you? How many people are, uh, you know, your fans? How many people are like, hey, you know, you didn't put the show, man, what happened? If you have a large contingent of followers who keep pestering you, then I think you're meant for it. However, if you don't have so many people following you, wanting to know you, who are not passionate about you, and you yourself are dying and not able to get creative ideas, then my dear, I don't think it's meant for you. I seriously don't think it's meant for you. And you, you might be good looking, you might have a great personality, you might have lovely charm, you might have a great body, whatever. If you do not have followers, if you do not have eye view, uh, you know, eyeball views, if you do not have a unique page views, if you do not have a large fan base of people who follow you, end of the day, you're not going to succeed. No way. Yes, you need to be passionate. You need to have it in you. You need to want to do it. Uh, but it's, it's a thankless game. Remember this. I've been doing this for uh, six years now, six years online. I just have maybe a thousand... 1,500 or maybe 2,000 subscribers. Uh, that's about it. 200,000 followers. No, not more than that. I know how tough it is. And every day I need to keep putting up more content up online. And I don't do it just for them. Trust me. I don't do it for the fans. I don't do it for them. I do it for me. I do it because I love this. So you need to be very clear of why you're doing it, what you're doing. And end of the day, can you make money? Because if you can't make money, and you can't help others make money, I think it's time you choose another career. So Lloyd from LloydMasito.com and LloydMasito.com sharing with you his views on what it takes to be a TV presenter. So either you have it or you don't. That's it. <laughs>